What's up my friend, DK back with another Click Magic tutorial video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about setting up some split testing. So if you wanna take two capture pages, three capture pages, 200 capture pages, whatever, and you wanna run them side by side and see what page converts the best. You know, as an example, if you're gonna run a Google ad, a Bing ad, a Facebook ad, and you wanna split test a couple of different capture pages, I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to track that so you can start figuring out where to send the majority of your traffic to the best converting page. So as an example, what you see right here on the screen is a couple of pages that I was uh, split testing, ran several thousand clicks to each one. And you know, you can see this one came in at a 27.7% opt-in rate. This one came in at a 30% opt-in rate. Ultimately, you know, not a huge, not a huge percentage difference here, but guess what? Like over time, you know, 30% compared to 27%, over time, that could be hundreds or even thousands of clicks, thousands of people that opt in versus don't opt in. So as an example, uh, the cool part is, you know, Click Magic will actually tell you, you know, hey, this one's a winner, this one's converting better, which is kind of obvious, you know, as long as you can do uh, kind of some basic data analysis, you'll be able to tell which ones are converting better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and set up some split testing. And I'm going to walk you through right now exactly how to do that. It's relatively simple. However, if you don't have your tracking pixel set up, if you don't have your link rotator set up, so, you know, the main tracking link is, con you know, communicating with your rotator link and tracking that conversion pixel, if you haven't set that up yet, go back to the other video, link in the description down below, go back to the other video that I did here in this Click Magic tutorial talking specifically about how to set up your conversion pixel if you don't know how to do that what i'm going to show you right here isn't going to matter you're not going to be able to split test until you have that data so if you need to go hit, hit the link in the description down below and go watch the other video on setting up your conversion pixel you want to do that now okay before we do this now let's go set up some split testing really easy to do if you remember back to the very first video in this training series i showed you how to set up a basic tracking link that's what we're going to do right now Okay, so we're gonna call this CM test demo split testing. What? Simple, right? So we'll call this uh, CM split test. Again, slug doesn't really matter. This, if you're if you're running ads, the only person that's really gonna see the slug link is the person that you give the link to to run the ads to to send the traffic to. Because chances are, if you're if you're doing some type of solo ad or if you're even doing like a a Google ad or something like that, chances are the link is gonna be embedded into something. It's gonna be embedded behind another, uh, you know, URL or word or phrase or something. So no one's ever gonna see the slug link for the most part. So you really don't have to worry about that. Now we have to pick our primary URL. So as an example, I'm gonna come over here to, um, I'm gonna go to my Builderall account. And by the way, I mentioned this in the other videos. If you wanna see you know, the system that I use specifically that everything I have like for my online marketing all under one roof, less than a hundred bucks a month, your SMS messaging, your email marketing, your page building, link in the description down below. I have a free training series uh, where I show you kind of the same things that we're going over right now. I show you step-by-step step how to do, what to do, all of that stuff. So if you want to see this easy business automation training series, link in the description down below, go check it out you might get some value out of it. If you're if you're like me and many other, you know, networker affiliate marketers, you, you might have your stuff all over the place. You might have a ClickFunnels account over here, a GetResponse account over here, something else over here, you know, a Twilio account over here, and you might have your stuff kind of everywhere. If you want it all under one roof and you want it at a low cost, check out this free training series, okay? Anyway, back at it. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna grab we're gonna split test three different capture pages. And I'll, and I'll show you a couple of cool examples here of just, you know, different ways of looking at. It. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, we're just gonna hit go to the website. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to grab the links. But here, just to give you food for thought, this is what makes you a better date, uh, a better business owner, it's tracking your data. Because at the end of the day, remember this, if you're watching the video until this point, okay, Comment this below. Let's see if you're paying attention. What you measure improves. Comment that down below. What you measure improves. So 
If you're tracking your data, it's going to make you a better business owner. End of story, non-debatable. Okay. So I want to grab that link. I'm going to come back here to click magic. Okay. And let's just say, I'm going to use this as my primary link. Primary link, it really doesn't matter because ultimately if we're going to, in this case, we're going to track three different capture pages. We're also going to do three different styles of capture pages, like one with a video, one without a video, one with different messaging than the other one, you know, so it, it'll give you some really good data to find out what converts and what doesn't. Okay. So this particular page that we're going to split test first has a video in the capture pages. I've seen from my own testing, you need to test your own, but I've seen from my own testing with the type of traffic that I drive, capture pages without a video convert better, but ultimately let the data be your guide. Let the data tell you what works and what doesn't. Okay. Don't assume always let the data tell you what works. Okay. And then we just hit create tracking link. Okay. Once we put our link in there, we hit create tracking link and then boom, we're good to go. So you see right here, it says split testing demo. Now let's go add another link in. Let's go split test two more links for a total of three links. So you're going to go over here to this little wrench doodad right here. Kind of click on this little wrench icon and then see right here, it says split testing. Boom. I'm going to do that. Okay. Now this is important. So right here where it says optimize for sales or optimize, we want to optimize for actions, AKA conversions. Action is also a conversion in ClickFunnels speak. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a variation. Okay. And we're going to name this, uh, we'll call this CM test. Uh, we'll call it CP2, capture page two. So I'm going to come back over here. We're going to grab another uh, capture page. I'm just going to go grab my, where's my main capture page, y'all? Uh, CP1, we'll just grab this one right here. This is probably my top converting capture page right here. Just simple, easy colors, black, white, red, uh, just converts really well. So we'll come back over here and paste that link here. Now in the beginning, you can put the weight, whatever you want, what percentage. Uh, usually when I fill this out, I just put one. And then, so depending on how many links I put in here, we're gonna fix that in a second. So just hang tight. So now we added two, there's two capture pages in there. Now let's go add a third. And again, I'm just gonna put CM test, We'll call this CP3. You can name it whatever it is in relation to your capture pages. Okay. And by the way, when, you know, if you go check out that uh, Builder All series and, you know, you decide that it's, it's a fit for you, any of the capture pages that I use, any of the email automation sequences that I use, I explain that in the follow up. You guys can clone that. All you got to do is get me your email and I can just, I can literally forward these capture pages to you inside the system. I can forward. Uh, workflows, email automation, all that sort of stuff. I can forward that to you so you can kind of use the same thing. Uh, so we're going to go here. We're going to check out a slightly different page. Okay. Different messaging, different colors. So really we've got three totally different capture pages. Copy the link, come back here, and I'm just going to put uh, 1%. Then you add it in there, hit add split test URL. Now we got three pages in here. Okay. Pretty simple so far, right? And now what we're going to do is I just hit equalize right here. And now it's going to divide it up and nice, even percentage to all of the capture pages. And this is ready for traffic. Okay. So again, if you're going to run a solo ad, if you're going to, if you want to have this out there on social media, if you want to have this on, you know, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is, what you're going to do is right here, this main link, click on that, copy it. And then you can put that link wherever you want. I mean, if you just paste it in here, it's going to rotate through. So it goes to, you know, this is the second capture page that we entered right there, but you get the idea. That's how you set up the split testing. Now what's really important to know and understand. Okay. So let me just refresh this page. So you see the little, now you get this little arrow doodad. That means that you have multiple links inside of this link here. So if you can actually click on that and it's going to pull these up. Now, once you start driving traffic, over time, okay, you're going to start to see your percentages only the only way that you're going to track what's called your actions, right? You're going to track your leads. The only way that you're going to be able to track that is if you did what was in the other video. If you went and set up the conversion 
pixel into your rotator link and you did that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, link in the description down below, go watch the whole training series so you can get that conversion pixel uh, entered onto your sales page links or your thank you pages, your bridge pages, whatever, so you can start tracking your percentages. If you didn't do that, setting up a split test, it's not gonna give you the data that you're looking for, okay? So plain and simple, if you're looking to do, you know, this here, what I showed you on the other page, if you're looking to get these percentages right here, if you wanna know, hey, what are my opt-in rates? If I'm, if you're gonna drive traffic, let's say you're gonna split test three pages, you're gonna run some solo ads, you're gonna drive some traffic and you wanna know what page converts best. If you didn't set up your links properly, you're not gonna get that data, okay? So hope you got value from this Click Magic tutorial, my friend. I will see you in the next video. In the next video, we're gonna talk about setting up an actual rotator. So if you are uh, an affiliate marketer, a network marketer, whatever, and you wanna set up you know, various uh, rotators for your team, uh, something along those lines. I'm going to show you in the next video exactly how to do that. And you can rotate links. You can, you know, spread all the love around and, and send multiple, you know, forms of traffic to multiple different links all at the same time. So stay tuned in the next Click Magic video. We're going to talk about exactly that. I will see you there. Take care.